Hello everyone, welcome to AITechon.com. I am here with my new video in Salesforce integration. The topic for today's video is how to display Google Map on a Lightning Web component in order to display the current locations. Hi everyone, my name is Sumit, and uh, in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate you, I'll show you that how can we use the Google Map component in order to add on a Lightning Web component on LWC component to display the locations or current locations of the offices. So the idea behind this activity is to display the location of a particular account on Google Maps. Let's suppose uh, my, my company will be operating from different locations. We have a different location. We have our offices in different locations and we would like to mark all those locations on Google Maps. So how can we achieve that? How can we do that? And what things will be required for this, I will be going to tell you. So this is a step-by-step -step implementation. Before I move ahead, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. You can press the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. If you have any comments, you can post your comments or you can reach out to us on info at the rate aitech1.com. So let's begin. and. Uh, just for demonstration purpose, I have already created one example. And as you can see, right now, uh, just for easy, just to make it easy, what I have done, I just added only two records, or you can say two details about the same company. So I'm uh, let's assume that uh, the AI Tech one got office then in one in Kanpur and one in New Delhi, and these details we have added in our account object. So basically, what I have done, I added two accounts here. So as you can see, we got two account details. See this, two account details. And basically, uh, and we would be tracking the billing cities. So when I open details section, when I open details section, you can see we have a billing address. And if I edit this record, we can see the billing city, New Delhi, Lokia province, zip code and country. So in same manner, for the second record, I have done the same thing. For the second record also, I have did the same thing. I just added the details like the billing street, city, uh, state, uh, zip code, and billing country. And then on Google map, we'll be displaying locations. And you can see both the locations will be marked on the Google map. So in order to design this, let's see how to create a Lightning Web component. So I have, a, I have already created a Lightning Web component. I'm going to quickly explain you step by step how, I'm, how I have done and what's the code. So the very first thing is we need to create a Google Map Controller class. And the purpose of this class is to fetch the details, fetch the billing details, billing streets, city, uh, state, postal code, country from the account based on the account name we are going to pass. So as you can see, the function name here is get company location, and this function is going to return the list of accounts. And here the parameter is account name initials, and then I write a SOCL query, and uh, whatever name we type in, it will fetch the details based on that account name and store all those records. In, uh, it will return basically, because we are not storing it anywhere, we'll be directly returning it. Or we can do one thing, we can store it into a list and then we can return. So either way is fine. So here I'm directly returning the billing street and the details, uh, billing locations of uh, uh, of an account based on the account name. So that's the SOCL query I have right here. This, this is our controller class, the server side controller class. Then I added a lightning web component name as Google Map LWC. And in this Google Map LWC, uh, the first, I just added a Google Map LWC HTML. And in this HTML, I just added a division to display heading AI Tech 1 and Office locations. That's the heading and paragraph. And then I just added a Lightning Map component here, this Lightning Map component. This Lightning Map component, I just said the map markers is equal to map markers. And the marker title is equal to our company locations, or I can say AI Tech One company locations. 
AI Tech One company locations like this. Now, map marker is a variable, is a property which I will be going to define in client side controller class. And now, this is my client side controller class. And in this client side controller class, the first of all, what I have done, I will be using here wire uh, API and flag. So, the first I did here is I just import the function from the Apex method, Apex, uh, Apex class, the server side control class, and the function is get company location. Here it is, the function name is get company location. I just fetch that. Then uh, I just declare one variable called, or property you can say, account name parameter, and I specify the value of AI tech one. And this we will be going to pass as a parameter. This one. That's the initial account name parameter. You can say that's a default value. So just in case if you are not passing, we can pass it as a default value. Track error, map marker, because we might, uh, it's an array because we will be going to return multiple values. Mark titles, AI tech one technologies. That's the name of, uh, that's the label actually. And the zoom level I set as code. Then I use at the rate wire. This is to read the data, basically this helps to fetch the data from the uh, from the function. And for this, what I've done, I pass a parameter. So basically what I did, I pass the function, I call the function here, get company location, that's my function. And this function takes a parameter. So I'm just passing one parameter here, account name parameter, wired office location, error data. If, uh, if it returns the data, so I just assign the data, whatever the information returns, those informations are returned to the map markers. And we assign to the location in, in location, I declare city and country. Icon as custom 26 and title is equal to data icon dot name. If an error, let's suppose if uh, it is failed, if the apex class failed to return the value, then it will redirect to the error and uh, it works accordingly. And then finally, the meta XML, I just set the location as lightning app page and lightning home page. So let me save this and I am going to deploy this source to org onto Salesforce. And once the deployment is done, once the deployment is done, what happened? We will be going to check it. So now let me check, let me refresh my, uh, uh, let me refresh my homepage where I've added the LWC and you can say I take one company location. And uh, I believe that all of you are familiar with this. How do we add a liking web component on a home page? To know more about this, how do we add, how do we create and add a liking component on a home page? You can visit my previous videos where I have explained about the LWC components. How do we create, deploy, and uh, uh, display the liking component on home page? I'll share the link in the description. You can check it from there. So, like this way, you can see. Now, uh, right now, I got two AI Tech One companies with two different locations, one for Kanpur, one for New Delhi, and both of them will be marked. What if if I add one more location? Let's test it. So just imagine that uh, that I'm going to add one more company name at the same name, AI Tech One phone number, and the billing city here I set as, let's say, Mumbai. And a country as India, save this. And now I'm going to refresh this page. So you can see when I refresh this, three locations will be visible. It is showing three locations, the Kanpur, New Delhi, and Mumbai, and all of them will be marked. Because of the distance, that's why it's coming like this. If we have the nearby location, then it will automatically zoom it. But because the locations are different, one these two locations are close to each other. So that's why it, won't, it, it display like this, but the Mumbai is far. So that's why it, uh, it automatically adjusts the map. And let's suppose if we have the location somewhere for US or any other country, then it will automatically adjust. So auto adjustment is there on a Google map. So that's the way we display the location, the company locations on a Google map on a lightning, like using lightning web company. So that's all in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. 
you can post your comments you can reach out to us at the um, at the rate, uh, info at the rate aitechmon.com or you can directly contact to us on the given numbers thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye